Alright everyone, hey, this is Charlie from The Gaming Guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial right now on how to build a castle using Minecraft World Edit. I'm going to go as fast as possible because I've already done two takes where it's gone longer than I should. So, um, alright, let's get right into it. First thing you're going to do is type in, is find the center of your platform, which I've skipped the process of making because it's very simple. And you're just going to go in right in the middle of it, and you're going to type in HCYL, um, which is short for hollow cylinder. Um, and you're going to type in HCOL. CYL, cobble, and then if you want your castle made of cobblestone, and then, what was it, 10 and 25. And that's going to create a cylinder that is hollow in the center with a radius of 10 and a height of 25. Then you're going to add these, um, I'm going to call them struts. That's not what they are, but last video I called them the alternating uppity thingies on castles, and that didn't really work out too well for me. Um, so these are, when I say struts, even though that's not the right word, that's what I mean. I mean these things. <laughs> so next thing you're going to know, it's going to fly right into the dead center of this. You can do that by touching the marker that you've made. You're going to find the dead center, get yourself level, and point one block below the struts. And you're going to type in CYL, which is short for just full cylinder, cobble, and then your radius, which was 10. My radius was 10, at least make sure that worked and it did and now you have your beginning tower so the the creation that we're going for is a beginning tower and then four towers on the side and then they're all connected by a wall and then there's a gate right here so let's do that um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna align yourself the first one you're gonna align yourself with the corner of this so there's the corner align yourself with it this looks good and then you're just going to go straight from here. It needs to be a straight line because you are building walls. Find this there. Make sure you're roughly aligned. You don't have to be fully aligned each time. Oh, the pig pushed me off my mark. <laughs> All right. Make sure you're aligned. Oh, no, another pig. Get on my face, pig. My roughly aligned. Nope. It's a little better. This is the best, though. All right, make sure you're. Don't get in my face again, pig. Um, then this for this one, you just want to align yourself with both this one and this one. That should line up roughly right. Um, if you did it right, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be roughly correct. Okay, so perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build one of these semi, one of these smaller towers that are on the outside. So you're going to stand in the middle of one of your markers, and then you're going to type in HCYL, cobble, and then I, I'm using a radius of 6 and a height of 15. That's been working out pretty well for me. And then you're going to add these struts again, where I just like alternate, I guess. The alternating uppity things on castles. All right. Touch down to the marker again. Find this. Make sure you're aligned. CYL. Cobble. And then I had a radius of 6. Now I'll add the floor. There we go. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to punch a hole right here. I'm going to float down right here to this. And we're going to. Oh, wait. First, we got to copy it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're we're going to be copying this thing. Um over to all the other places where this goes, which is the four other sections of it. So set the two things, I'm going to expand it, expand it 16 up, so that it's all nice and accounted for. And then we're going to float down here to the marker, type in slash slash copy, and that will copy it, seal this off, and now we're basically going to fly over to each marker and just type in slash slash paste. Pretty simple. Um, I know world that it reminds you of this all the time, but the, the paste, the way the copy and paste works is that um, when you copy something, it saves your location. Um, if that makes any sense, so it saves your location relative to the creation, and then when you paste it, it just pastes it in the same spot relative to where you were when you copied it. So that's the way that works. I know that confuses a lot of people, but that's why you float down into like the same relative location for each one. And you build the markers. Um, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add walls. So what we do here, we float down here, grab that, 
and then grab that. We're going to type in slash slash outline cobble, and that will build this wall. That's all we need right now. Make sure it's daytime. You're just going to do this four times, one for each wall. Outline cobble. Perfect. Again, it's really important that these all these things are aligned um, when you do this. So make sure when you're placing those markers in the beginning that everything is nice and aligned. Especially, uh, th it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned to the center because you can move the center thing later. Um, but it does need to be aligned to each other or else you won't be able to do this step successfully. Sorry about that. That's a leaf blower outside, if you can hear it. Yeah, you probably will. Hopefully you can still hear me over it. So now what you're going to do is, this is kind of a confusing step, but you're going to use the command called stack. Um, so what you're going to basically going to be doing is you're going to select this region, and this region means a, what is it, a 5 by 2 region, right, 2 this way, 5 this way. And what this is basically going to do is when you type in stack, you'll see stack, oh, whoopsies, copied too much. Um, like here, I'll copy that. Copy that. I screwed up the first time. So when you type in stack, as you can see, it repeats that same thing with a cobblestone block, then air, cobblestone block, then air. Right? So that's what the stack command does. So you want to do that for your castle. Um, for these walls, it speeds up the process. Stack 13. All right, perfect. And you're basically, you're again, you're going to do this for each wall. All right, perfect. So now that we have our castle all set up, look how pretty that looks. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to float down, find the exact center of this, which I believe is right here. That's what it seems like. Make sure this is centered. Yeah, that definitely seems correct. Yeah, the center of the wall is definitely here, and you're going to point at kind of the center of it, and you're going to type in BR Sphere. Oh. BR sphere air. And then probably a radius of five or six. I'm gonna do six because I'm a daredevil. Then you're gonna mask cobble. And then you're gonna you're gonna make sure you're pointing at the center one and then a little bit down and you're gonna right click and that creates a hole in the wall. Um, which is going to be your uh, what am I looking for? Going to be your um, your gate, your entrance way. So I'm just doing it there again so that, um, as you can see, I just pointed at that block and I built the block up to where I pointed on the other side so that they're equal. Because since it's a sphere that you're creating, it's going to like cone around um, or circle around and make this smaller than this one. If that makes any sense, then good. I, I, I realize I didn't explain that as well as I could have. All right, so then we're, I mean, we're going to select um, basically a pretty rough area of that whole like gate entranceway area, and then you're going to type in G mask, um, which is a new feature to the newest world edit. I'm not sure if single player commands is updated with the newest world edit, even the latest download of single player commands. So download the latest build of uh, world edit of world edit and install it via single player commands or bucket. Um, in order to get this command, which is G-Mask. Um, G-Mask is basically a global mask that applies to all commands, not just brush commands. So you're going to G-Mask air, and then you're going to type in slash slash walls fence. Perfect, and now we have our gate. and It's very spiffy and nice. Um, make sure you turn off G-Mask, because none of your other things will work once you still have it on. So, um, yeah, there's our castle. It's pretty much done, except a good castle needs a flag. And what other flag, where other place to put a flag than the biggest tower, right? Oh. So there we go, bigger, build our flag, and then bum bum bum, bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum, oh. oh. Man, this is the most difficult part by far. So what I like to do is actually um, build the flag straight even though it looks really bad oh. um, straight even though it looks really bad in the beginning and then what you do is you just like delete a little section of it like 
this and that, and then you move it down over here, and then it kind of looks like it's fluttering in the wind, kind of, kind of, sort of, looks like that, um, from far away. So yeah, there's um, our castle tutorial, of course, I didn't really decorate it much, but that's kind of like a rough way of doing it um, with the newest version of World Edit, and really simple. If you want to build it any other way, I'm going to have a couple of cuts to um, just me reskinning re it um, really quickly by just masking, like, say, the grass and changing it to different things. And then you mask the cobble and change it to something different. Um, and that's just called a, a reskinning of it in my, in my book. So um, I'll just do a couple of cuts to that. And um, yeah, but uh, thanks for watching this episode of The Gaming Guys. Um, this is how you build a castle. Really fun. Good to have you with me. Uh, check out our channel for the other World Edit tutorials. Um, I'm, I'm starting to move faster because, you know, um, I've done a lot of videos on, like, more basic things, and so I'm tired of explaining the same thing over again. Um, if it's confusing, please send me a personal message, send a request, whatever you want, um, and I will surely respond or make a video of your request, probably, unless it's, like, something ridiculous, like, build a giant potato in Minecraft. Actually, that would be really fun.